Hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Humane at Home. Today is Fry DIY, so we're going to be making a DIY item for your pets. If you couldn't tell by that intro, we are in a room full of cats right now, which is the best place you could ever ask to be. This room is what we call our cat aquarium, and really it's just a massive space that is what Jackson Galaxy might call catified. So we've got lots of things for them to climb and scratch, and we've got a couple little cuties hanging out up top. They're not feeling super warmed up yet, so they haven't made much of an appearance, but hopefully they do. I wanted to show you guys how you can make a cat tent or a little cat bed just using things that you have around your house. Because if there's any cat lovers out there, you will know that you can spend so much money on toys for them and so much money on the nicest beds for them. And what they really want to sleep in is that Amazon box. And what they really want to play with is that crumpled up Target receipt. So we're going to keep it pretty low key and just use supplies that you maybe might have thrown out to make a toy for your cats that they will enjoy and that hopefully will be really easy to clean if you need to. So as far as supplies go for this cat tent, you only need a few things. The first are some wire hangers. And I had a little bit of a hard time getting wire hangers. I don't normally have them in my house, but if you ever pick up your dry cleaning, maybe just save those hangers for this project. The other thing that you will need is just an old t-shirt, one that you're not wearing anymore, but you wanna put to good use. And then you're gonna need some cardboard. I've opted for a really shallow cardboard box, but you could also just use a flat piece of cardboard you could use a box that's a little bit higher, but you want to be careful with the height of your box because the entrance to the little tent is going to be at the front of the box and you don't want your cat to have to kind of maneuver themselves in, though they're very capable of doing that. We're making it nice and easy for them. The last few things that you'll need are some masking tape just to A, hold everything together, but B, make sure that we're covering all of those sharp edges on any of our hangers. And then something soft and fluffy that we can put inside, whether it's a blanket or a towel. So our first step I've actually already done before we got started today, and that is to go ahead and just conceal those sharp edges on the wire hangers. Anything that you're making for your animals, you want to make sure that safety is your number one priority. We don't want our cats getting pricked on these sharp edges, so I'm going to go ahead and cover those. The other thing that you might want to do is when your cat is in this, make sure that they're not chewing on it. I know my little guy likes to chew on anything that he's not supposed to. So make sure that they're not snacking on the tips of the hanger. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the hanger and fold it in kind of an arch shape and it does not need to be perfect. And then you're gonna slide it on into your cardboard at opposite corners. So you should have it sitting diagonally. And then you're gonna go ahead and start taping it to the corners. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that these are on here nice and secure, especially if you maybe have a cat that's got a few extra pounds to love. You might want to make sure that your uh, structure is sound and the foundation is solid. So we'll kind of adjust as needed. All right, and these are going to be kind of the poles of the tent. If you guys have ever set up a tent when you go camping, you know that that's the first step. You're going to just repeat the same exact process with your other set of wire hangers. So just taping those into the corners. And you could certainly make this bigger or smaller based on the size of your cat. Totally depends on what you are looking to do. I'm going to tape this one on there. And right now it looks kind of crazy, but it'll, it'll get there eventually. I'm just going to tape this one more time just to ensure that it's on there. And then, of course, you're going to want to reinforce the top of the tent where those two wire hangers meet. So I'm just going to take a little bit more tape and I'm going to hold these guys together and start taping them down. And I'm already losing one of the sides. See, I didn't make sure it was secure enough. I got to get some more masking tape on that. And I like the masking tape versus the plastic tape just because I feel like it holds um, the wires a little bit better. I feel like it creates a little bit more of a barrier than maybe packing tape or scotch tape, which I don't feel like would hold as well. So I'm going to go back and make sure all of my corners 
are reinforced so that when we do attempt to have a cat friend in here, we'll see how that goes in a few minutes, but when we do attempt to have a cat in here, they won't knock the little bars over. All right. Last thing I'm going to do before we move on to the next step is just finish taping off the top to make sure it stays together at the top. All right, now that you've got this crazy looking contraption, it is time to put a shirt over it. Now, the neck of the shirt is actually going to be the entrance to the cat tent, so that's what's going to be facing front up here. As far as the shirt goes, I just grabbed one of our random shirts from summer camp, but you can use whatever you want. And if you're feeling particularly creative, maybe you want to tie dye your own shirt or use some fabric paint, make sure it's safe for animals though, before you put that on there. But you can be as creative as you want with your shirt. It is totally up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this on over and then we'll start to kind of adjust it. And I'm going to be pretty delicate because I don't want to topple everything that I just created and I want to make sure that it's on there straight. Okay. So now that it's over all of the wire hangers and this one is pulling out again, sorry, I'm going to need to tape this one more time. I'm trying not to make you watch me tape stuff all day, but got to make sure it's on there. With these are good tips. We want everyone at home to reinforce all those corners. Yes. Especially if you have a cat like mine who's kind of wild and likes to uh, <laughs> get into things and break them. You always want to make sure that they are solid and sturdy. Okay, now there we go. I'm going to pull this down so that the neck hole is getting closer and closer to the front of the tent. I'm going to pull the kind of hemline, the torso portion of that shirt towards the bottom. And it's ultimately going to end up underneath that cardboard piece. So I'm going to pull it all the way down. All right, let's make sure all of our little pieces are in there. Okay. So I'm going to pull it down until it is at the base of our little tent here. And I'm going to kind of go back in here and fluff out our little poles really quickly so that they are all stretched out and giving our cat plenty of room inside here. Now, once you get to this portion, there's a couple different things that you can do. If you want to cut off the sleeves and sew these up, you absolutely can. Or you can hot glue the rest of the t-shirt to the bottom of your box. Or you can use safety pins. It's totally up to you. I personally would probably go for the safety pin route or even just a little bit more tape on the bottom. That way, if the shirt gets dirty, if your cat coughs up a hairball in here or anything like that, you can easily slip it off of the tent and throw it into the wash. If you use hot glue, that's going to be a lot harder and I wouldn't put it into your washer if it's got glue on it, but I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to stretch out the little poles and we'll get those arms kind of tucked in and back. And here's where you would want to pin it. I don't have my safety pins with me, so I'm just going to kind of tuck them in there for right now. Taking the little arms, tucking them back. And if you wanted to decorate this in any way, shape, or form, you could put your cat's name on it. You could draw a little fish, little mice, something like that. And then let me just get this sleeve back here so that it stands up really well. And again, I probably wouldn't use tape for this, but if you have safety pins or if you are a seamstress, you can do a little stitch on there. Then the last step before we go attempt to give this to someone is that you'll just want to put a little something soft in the bottom so that the cat's not laying on cardboard. Not that they have any real problem with that. I feel like they're mostly uh, pretty okay with that. And I'm going to just pull this a little bit more tight. The shirt's a little bit bigger 
than the structure. So let me just, okay. So we are actually going to venture on down to meet one of our adoptable cats who I've heard is a little bit more excited about new people. These guys are super sweet, but they're not very appreciative of us putting the camera in their face all day. So we're gonna walk on down and meet Mr. Phoenix. Phoenix is very cute and he lives in a room just down here. From what I've heard, he is a very social, very friendly guy. And he was brought in because his previous owner just had really bad allergies to cats. So definitely, I wonder if he thinks I have food or some sort of treat for him. I'm not sure. Hi, buddy. What is this? Do you want to smell it? Oh, my. And we had a great tip from Shelly at home who said she wore her shirt before doing this. That's probably so a good that idea. Her cats recognize the smell. Shelly is a genius. I love that. Yes, it's very important for your cat to be nice and comfortable with the smell. He did sniff it and he said, what the heck is that lady? Why'd you put it in my room? Hi, buddy. He is very tiny, but he's got a nice fluffy tail. And for those of you who do like cats, you maybe have cats at home, you might know that things tend to take a little while for them to get used to. I know personally, I got my cats a brand new bed and it took about six months before they even laid in it. So if you ever bring anything home for your cats or you make anything for your cats, oh, he's smelling all kinds of smells over there. Don't be discouraged if they don't love it right away. Might not be you, might not be the toy, might not be the bed. They're just getting used to it. They're pretty particular creatures. But once they warm up to it, they'll be excited. Do you want to try to go outside? Do you want to try? Maybe? Or you just want to cuddle? Hi. Let's see if we can get a little toy in there. Maybe he'll be interested. Phoenix, oh, do you want to go in? He's like, no, I'd rather just get pets. I'd rather just get pets, thank you very much. But we do have a lot of really cute cats and kittens down here at our shelter. You guys should go on and check our website. We've got a really great system that allows you to search for animals by species, age, breed, and you guys can check out their profiles. I know Phoenix here would be a great addition to your household. Seems very lovey and sweet. Oh, he's gonna come show off for the camera. Oh my goodness. Here. What if we do this? Then are you interested? Maybe. Maybe. He's like, that is too small, even for me. So you might want to make a bigger one if your cat's a little larger. Oh my goodness. Also definitely a sweet cat ready for a loving home. Super sweet. And next Friday is actually a very special Friday because the month of October has five Fridays. And normally you guys know we do a schedule. So one Friday is a wildlife fee. One Friday is our Humane at Home adoption event. Well, we have a bonus Friday this month. And because it's so close to Halloween, we are gonna be doing a Halloween special. So Stacy and I will be here next week doing something fun and spooky and showing off Halloween here at the Humane Society. And thank you guys for watching. Sorry it was not as exciting as I had hoped, Mr. Phoenix, but you got to see lots of cute cats, and that's what matters. Thank you guys. Have a good weekend.